<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it. Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it. Like what you gon' do, where you at, who you with, you ain't really bout this, don't talk about don't it Really on the move, on the map, never slip, keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about don't it do Real eyes, real lies, real lies, all the time, stand on it, if we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips, new phone, who this, no we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know, what's an off day, now we on road, came from Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again, another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys, man. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, yes, bro, Vader is fixed, but it is time for a change. So, basically, man, this is what we got going on right now. So, if you guys have been in tune with all of the vlogs and been up to date with all of the videos, then you guys would know um, Vader ended up throwing a check engine light uh, last week. And, um, you know, I was trying to get rid of it and diagnose it. And um, I came up, I dropped a video, you know, saying that I may have or may not have fixed Vader, um, but I wasn't sure. Um, so, what I did was I went ahead and I reached out to my boy Frank who works over at Mac Hack Chevrolet. If you guys, again, have been a part of the channel for a while, then you guys will remember him. Um, when the drive shaft incident happened, he was the one that took care of the car and actually installed the new one. Um, so, anyway, I had reached out to him and I asked him if he could do me a favor and put the codes that Vader was throwing into Chevy's system over at the dealership because as you guys remember the scan tool was telling me that you know the code was specific to GM only and then after it would tell me that it would say that there's no code on the computer so I sent him the codes and he doubled back and got back to me and he confirmed exactly what I thought the issue was um, basically it's the harness for one of the valves in the exhaust now as you guys know um i have the mpp axle back in the rear which is basically a active exhaust you can open and close it it's a valved exhaust i mean you can open it and close it um and i was keeping it just solely because of my wife you know what i'm saying she'd be catching mad headaches and driving in this car you know it's pretty loud being long tube headers and catless and x-pipe you know what i'm saying it is a pretty loud vehicle so you know i just tried to be considerate and you know keep the valves and that way whenever we're in the car and we're cruising i can close them for and we don't have to worry about you know the sound of the car causing a headache or making a headache that she already has even worse now with that being said man the code that the car was throwing was for the bcm the bcm is basically the body control module and it was also throwing the code for the cylinder deactivation module which basically is what chevy calls their valves in the exhaust the mpp so with that being said one of the harnesses is either you know kinked somewhere or there's a short in it or something or maybe you know what i'm saying the connector maybe there's a bent pin or something i don't know um but this is an issue that the car had before i even bought it as you guys know um when i got the car they actually had to swap out the valve um, for the exhaust um before i took it off the lot so with that being said you know i just believe it's best if i just go ahead and get a new exhaust man a new axle back now as you guys know the fix that i did was i pulled the fuse so the car is thinking that you know the valve should be open at all times um so with that being said like i'm i'm just torn on if i should even go with another valve exhaust or if i should just go with the regular axle back now the companies that i'm torn on getting is either corsa or borla at first, I will be honest, I was looking into the AWE, 
because AWE just sounds so good. But then I realized that AWE is literally just a straight pipe, bro. Like, it's literally just a straight pipe and some five inch tips. Man, I can go get five inch tips from the muffler shop and get a three inch straight pipe from the muffler shop and be straight. You feel me? Like, I'm definitely not paying upwards of $800 for those straight pipe hell, dog. So AWE is definitely out of the picture unless I go with the valve exhaust. Um, but like I said, man, I don't, I don't really don't know if I should or if I shouldn't because I know as of right now, the sound deadening, um, works hand in hand, perfect with the stock axle back. So I know after I upgrade my axle back and go with a different company, I'm pretty sure the cabin noise is going to be a lot louder. I'm pretty sure there might be a slight drone. Unless I go with Corsa, you know, I know Corsa, they be on their stuff. They be on their A game with their exhaust. So, I don't know, man. I'm torn right now, man, because Vader sounds amazing, you know, with the factory axle back. I've said this in so many videos. I've said this in so many personal com conversations that I've had with interactions with JI squad members, with regular, you know, regular people that just come up to me randomly at the gas pumps, at the gas station, at the store, wherever it is, and they see me with the car, they hear the car, they all tell me like, bro, your car sounds amazing, it's not too loud, it's not quiet, it's just right in the sweet spot, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I love about having the stock MPP, but if, you know, it's gonna cause me to get a check engine light, and I have to pull the fuse just to run it without getting the check engine light, I might as well get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? That big old muffler back there is, is, you know, a lot of pounds. You feel me? So it would definitely be beneficial for me racing wise. Um, and just, you know, honestly, really just racing wise for me to get rid of the stock muffler and go with a different axle back that's a lot lighter than the current one. So with that being said, y'all, I don't know. Y'all let me know. Should I get rid of the exhaust? And if I should, what exhaust should I go with? Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Live chat. All the homies in the live chat right now. Let me know, bro. Should I replace the MPP and go with like a Corsa? Or or do we do we just do we just say, you know what? Straight pipe king is back in the building. <laughs> and straight pipe it. Y'all let me know, man. I'm going to give y'all a sound clip so you guys can kind of like, you know, I, I want to make sure your judgment is right. You feel me? Like, let me let me show y'all what, what this joint talking about right now. It's, you feel me? As as Vader sits, this a little, this a little song. Crack the windows just a little bit. I can't go watt, so I'm just going to give it like a baby pull. Bro, I hope the mic is picking that up. Oh my god, bro. Bro. Jeez. Got a little tunnel right here, so I know. I know we can probably get it. Let it go. Do we keep it? Y'all let me know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know.